Hello everybody and thank you once again for joining me for this weekend's special event video. It's the Danny Trejo and Day 9 Singleton Weekend. Love is definitely in the air. This is a free event and the uh, there are no rewards except for cards. So one win you get a card. Um, most of these are going to be commons. I did this event once before and I, got, I think I got to three wins. And that wasn't so bad. It's a nice way to build your collection even if you're looking for commons. I think there is a chance that they're rare or, or uncommon or rare and the uh, the second card if, at five wins is an alternate art, al alternate art Galta. Say that three times real fast, that gets kind of tricky. And the deck I'll be playing in this event is going to be a Gruul Riot themed deck. Being Singleton, I think we have a pretty good chance of seeing some of the themes play out. So, let's get in, let's give it a shot, we'll see what, uh, see what we can and can't get going. It's probably the closest thing to Commander we're going to see in a while. And that's the other thing about this, your avatar is either going to be Danny Trejo or Day 9. That's really quite hilarious, I think. Alright, my Biogenic Ooze. And there's a lot of... This isn't really Gruul themed, right? But there's a lot of weird stuff in this deck just because uh, it is Singleton. Deck list is in the comments, or in the uh, info in the, the uh, video, so you might have to hit show more or something. I'm gonna hang on to this hand even though these are five drops. In most cases in Singleton you can play a slower game, so I'm gonna hang on to these. A lot of this is like old school magic where it's just creatures and, and beat down. It's hard to make a themed control deck in Singleton. It could be done, but it's a little trickier. Mm-hmm. And our opponent's doing something similar. Going for ramp, so for sure, this Druid of the Cowl eats a lightning strike. Yep. I think I have a Druid of the Cowl in here also. And perhaps a Llanowar Elf. Not positive. I made some change. I like <laughs> I like the pink card backs. <laughs> That's kind of cute. And we're definitely just going to shock all of his mana ramp sources. Those are way too dangerous. And see, we're already just one turn away from, well, two turns away at this point, um, from a Biogenic Ooze or a Demanding Dragon. So this is going to work out pretty well, hopefully. This is weird, a three-color deck. Growing rights of Itlimok. When Growing Rites enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards. At the beginning of your end step, if you control four or more creatures, transform it. Okay, so maybe we won't get too close to that unless he does uh, like a sapling swarm or something. But he's about to sacrifice a creature, and then the ooze is going to get going. Flying is strong in Singleton. Removal is strong. And you can have rares. It's not popper, so. Rares, uncommons, the whole bit. He's got a lot of mana ramp going. That's that can get kind of scary if if he's got some good uh, like mana dumps in his hand, like uh, like Hydroid Crisis would be a one of uh, Banefire for sure would be a little scary. Tender shoot. Okay, if they start gaining life link. Oh, I've got a Burn Bright in here too. How funny. Opponent's got the city's blessing. That's no good. So now the tender shoot dryad gives all of his saplings plus two plus two. And there's his Galta. All right. So are we in business here? He's attacking. We are not blocking. I feel like we should make a news. And then maybe save Burn Bright and gang block Galta with a few different oozes. He won't see it coming. And then we can burn Bright as an instant to combat trick him down. And then try and 
claim some victory next turn, perhaps. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So four, four, and a three, three. They can block for six. They only block for 11, so that won't work out so well. Of course, we are looking at quite a bit of damage coming our way. How about this? Let's block two of his dudes here. Save our ooze. And hope. Okay, we're at two. Let's see what we got. He's got a ton of mana. I mean, just a ton of mana up here. This is crazy. And he can tap uh, Itlamok, Cradle of the Sun. There we go. Yeah, fight with fire. So that's a good combo right there. Okay. Only two losses allowed. So let us see what uh, what we can get to after. If we lose the first game, that definitely reduces our chances of going for a five-win streak here. I've got a Carnage Tyrant. There's my Galta. This isn't going to work at all. <laughs> okay. We'll take a quick mulligan. There we go. A little different. And that's the thing. These games are going to be vastly different from, from game to game. Now we're playing Mono Red all of a sudden. Mm. No, the chances of us getting that Demanding Dragon in play are pretty low, so we'll send him to the bottom. I don't hate Shiv and Fire here. We've got our Lightning Strike, another red mana source. That's not entirely ideal. We'll hang on to both of these uh, Lightning Strike and Shiv and Fire just in case our opponent plays a creature that we don't want to deal with through other means. We'll say Bane Fire. Hopefully, that ends up being the last spell that we cast. And I'm not all that worried about a control deck either, because it's an interesting choice. So I wonder if they let you put any number of petitioners in there, because even though it's singleton, because the card says you can do it. That's kind of strange. Uh, we'll just zap them right away. No reason to wait. So it's a five total for Shiv and Fire to do four damage to a creature. Well, we'll see if he can get more petitioners in there, or if he's just doing advisors. Because you have to have four advisors, not necessarily persistent petitioners, to do the mill. I wonder if a mill deck would work in Singleton. I don't I don't think it would. Uh, and it lets you do it. Okay. So I could kill that one too. Why don't we attack into him? I do have some card draw in here, so I think if he blocks, we can shock. Okay, won't have to. I wouldn't go for petitioners in Singleton. I did in Popper, but Popper's a little bit different than than Singleton because there are still really good options to deal with creatures, like just all the removal. I mean, Kaya's Wrath is one. Hmm, we'll let it through. I think I can start, I can Shiv and Fire. There we go. Green Mana Source, I'm good with that. So we will pay the kicker, kill one. We could do that after combat, so I've kind of stuck myself now. I don't want to attack. We only have one Banefire. I think this guy's running a Petitioner's deck. This is hilarious. Oh, and a Divination. Okay.
May as well attack. I can't. I'm not going to block with my fanatical firebrand, that's for sure. I've only got one firebrand in the deck anyways. Any creature I play with flying, I think I've got, uh... I've got both Demanding Dragon and Rekindling Phoenix, Banneret, that's going to amount to be a pretty awesome card there. If he plays a Petitioner, I do lose my Firebrand, though. Because I want to, I will have to shock and firebrand one of his petitioners so that he can't mill me for 12. I like these avatars. This is, this is really quite hilarious. Okay, maybe he's deciding whether or not he's got enough enough options in his deck at this point. I, I don't know, I don't think so, but we will find out. I can deal with unexplained disappearance, that's okay. That's okay. He surveils and leaves the card on top. Let's do it. We'll cook one. And now without a target, I don't think he gets to draw a card, right? Yeah. And even if this is a petitioner in his hand, he won't be able to cast it this turn. If he draws a Petitioner next turn, I'm getting milled for 12. I don't like that at all. Mm, let's see. Nope, still not going to work. I don't have the double green to cast Galta, so that's not, not great. Though if he taps out to mill, then I can swing in. What are the odds I get enough mana to mentor Galta? Zero. Yeah, that'd be 24 land. I think there's barely 24 lands in this deck. Maybe 22? Maybe 23? There's the third petitioner. Was it a smart decision to cook the other one? I think so. Yep. Mill for one. No big deal. Mill for one. Oh, there goes my biogenic ooze. Oh, man. I'll hit it and then attack and see what happens. If he doesn't block, I'll hit it again. And I really need one more land out of the deal. And then I can do a Carnage Tyrant. That'll make me happy. He held onto this card last turn, so maybe it's not something that's super terrific. And he chooses to, to mass manipulation. Holy cow. He could have gotten something so amazing. I am going to use Domri's minus three ability for a Beast Whisperer. That works. He no doubt attacks Domri. And he dies. There's the fourth petitioner. Now, I think he's going to go for the mill rather than the, than the attack, but... It's almost like the attack might be better off. I don't know. I think I think we're in a pretty good place to win this game. Yep. Ooh. If he attacks with Banneret, the game, he's, the game's over. I have won. Ha-ha! <laughs> Well, I don't know if I've won one, but 
<clears throat> Very close. I'm starting to get missed now. We're going to add green. Cast Carnage Tyrant. He gets Riot. I'm going to give him a counter because I want to save him as a blocker. To munch on the banner. He's, this mill threat is, is too great for him. And that makes Galta very cheap. I will use Normie again. Drop Galta. Yep, that's cool. There's no way he's attacking with his petitioners. He needs to tap them to do the damage. I block Banneret. He can't pump it. Galta comes out with haste. Trample, trample. Win, win. Yep, game over. That's what I thought. <clears throat> now, we, now we've got the game. Now it's, it's officially official here. Galta with haste is great. And a rhythm of the wild. That's cool. It's going to hold priority because he can tap this petitioner to mill me one. Yeah. That's like 20 damage with trample. So. So it's going to be a lot. Haste. Let's not let's not misclick. Now would not be the time for that. Blocking isn't gonna matter. Not one bit. Yeah. That's the game, it's over. This is where I think Rhythm of the Wild shines is in singleton commander games. I want to build my next commander deck to be a Domri Planeswalker. Either the one that just came out in the Planeswalker deck is not bad, even though it costs six. Uh, or this one right here, Bringer of Chaos. Pretty good too. Yep. That's fun. And that's how Singleton goes. It's a different game every time. I don't know that I would do... It's a... Another mill wall. I don't know that I would do like petitioners or rats in Singleton just because there's too many. You will be facing opponents with at least one copy of every option that's available. So if, if they're doing removal, even like Demir style removal, they're still going to have Chupacabras and Cry of the Carnarium and stuff like that. Ooh, I got a rhythm really want to hang on to this because Rhythm of the Wild is there and we don't normally see it. And I feel like I will draw into creatures that will greatly benefit from Rhythm of the Wild. Hmm. So, let's see what we got. Let's see what we can do. We drew into Galta. That's not terrible. Although I'd rather draw into creatures that I can use to, to cast Galta. This is... This is, if I live through this, and I can cast a Demanding Dragon on turn 5 with Riot. <laughs> He's a 5-5 five, five flying. When he enters the battlefield, target opponent sacrifices a creature, and he's going to have haste. Now my creatures can't be countered, and he's playing blue. That makes me a little happier. Raging Swordtooth is coming. I wish this made them any cheaper, but it's whatever. That should be okay. Wizard's Lightning. Interesting choice here. I don't think I have any wizards, so... Boy. Okay. Okay, there's my fifth mana. No place. Turn four. This is how we're doing this. All right. I will zap a creature he plays that cost that has a toughness of three though that's gonna happen if he plays one okay Mountain. demanding dragon he can't be countered so he might try just because uh, everybody's used to casting a counter spell on the big creatures all the rhythm of the wild will take over um, yeah we'll give him haste because he still has to sacrifice that tempest the Jin. 
If he has a merfolk trickster, he kind of messed up the timing there. But this isn't, these decks aren't, aren't, they don't work that way in singleton. They're, they're a little goofier. Oh, he took five. Okay. Okay. That works. That's silly. I don't like that at all. So only got one of those. Okay, so Galta's at seven cost. We'll do a raging sword tooth. And I think he's sitting on counter spells, but but can't do anything because they're uh yeah. Yeah, you get haste. And we'll do a fanatical firebrand also with haste. Maybe a counter. Hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. We'll do a counter just in case he drops a one-one and. Oh, he's got haste anyway. Duh. No reason to give him haste twice. That was a silly decision. Okay. Hopefully he can't do eleven. Uh, or or drop creatures that could block another. 8 damage from Galta. Galta comes in with haste from Rhythm of the Wild. I don't believe he's going to be running too much enchantment removal. Blocking isn't going to matter because of the trample. Let's let's just do it and see if this ends the game. Can't be countered. Haste is happening. See, he could have a settle the wreckage. So let's just swing in for the 12 and see what happens. That it? Okay. It's also why I wouldn't do rats, because Settle the Wreckage is a thing. Goblin Chain Whirler is still a thing. The rats would just die right away. Although you could use... Well, I mean... If you're doing a, a rat deck with 40 rats and 20, 20 swamps, you know what I mean? Like, the petitioner's guy. I, I wouldn't do that in Singleton. It's more of a popper strategy. This is funny, this guy's name is Simba and he got Dana. Ooh, this is interesting. My Legion War Boss. Or Draconic Disciple first. I don't think I need the mana ramp this game, so I'll go with Legion Warboss first. Okay. And then I can Lightning Strike a creature if he plays a scary one. Or Legion Warboss on my turn. Oh, he's going to be mana host. That's no good. Okay, here comes the Warboss. Hopefully. Well, maybe not. Well, he can't counter him, but he could... Cast him down right away. Hopefully not. It's just a Legion War boss. He's not worth casting down, right? Right? Come on, Simba. We're all friends here. Now what are we on? Tithe Taker eats a lightning strike. Tithe Taker eats a shock. He does. He does, even though I don't have any other red mana sources. Uh, he's too valuable. I don't care if you afterlife of one, that's just fine. Everybody's attacking, mentoring. Mm hmm I like it. Yep. Then I'm looking at risk factor next turn. I'm pretty sure that's where I'll go. He will more than likely... Gosh, he might have to let me draw. If he can't resolve Legion War Boss, and this is a pretty strong play, especially in Singleton, but he should have some removal options, especially in the black and the white space. I gotta think he's playing Mortify, Cast Down, Murder, Conclave Tribunal, all the removals. With Afterlife, he could be going for Kaya's Wrath also. It's not a bad idea. Hmm. 
Is that it? Maybe he's maybe he's stepped away. Like flip the table. And he's got a timeout, so this could take a minute. Timeout used. Lovely. Okay. Don't worry about me. It's fine. You just... Although sometimes the game has glitched on me before and I've had to... I've probably lost games like this before and just... It appears as if I've left and no longer care, but that's not the case. It's lag. I don't see when they start moving their mouse around their car. See how they get highlighted in white? Yeah, he's a little tilted maybe. <clears throat> We'll go Tin Street. We'll go Attack. Mm -hmm. Make the token. Five Attackers. Puts him at six. We will do a Lightning Strike. About the face and neck area. And that should just about seal this game away for us, unless he's got a Cry of the Carnarium. Even then, it's a risk factor. I draw three more cards, hopefully get some some decent creatures or some haste. It's, this doesn't look so good. Yeah. All right. So the longest part about that game was waiting for our opponent to take his turn. Mm, Forbidding Spirit. These are pretty cool. Your opponents will forget that you've played a Forbidding Spirit, and they'll try and attack, and the system's like, eh, you can't, and they go, what? Really slows down aggro, and there's a whole lot of aggro. How come I'm always Danny Trejo? I was hoping I could be Day 9 every once in a while, but that's okay. I wonder if the client is always this way, where, where on, on the client side, you're Danny Trejo, and your opponent's Day 9. <laughs> oh, Beastmaster. I like Gruel Beast Master. Fabulous. Especially with mentors. So if you attack with Beast Master, oh, maybe it's maybe the timing isn't in your favor with Beast Master and Legion War Boss. Like if you could if you Beast Master the War Boss, can you then let the War Boss mentor the Beast Master? We will find out on turn four this game. Again with the wizard's lightning. I I don't think I don't think there's any wizards in this deck. Uh, well, it's in there. Maybe I should have gone with uh, skewer the critics instead. The uh, pell collector is going to eat the shiv and fire. It is a virtual certainty. Hmm. Maybe I should wait until he's plays something to give him some counters. He's going to have to reveal that card at some point. There it goes. Memorial to Unity. I'm okay with that. Attacks for one. Cook him. Before he can get too much bigger. There he goes. Ooh, and a rhythm of the wild. Non-token creatures have riot. So is this a turn three? Hit Lamok again. This is pretty popular. End raise runners. I like end raise runners, except for the they're a little slow. Alright, Rhythm of the Wild into Beast Whisperer with a counter. And then it's on.
there's Lanawar Elves. So they're going to eat a Wizard's Lightning. Obviously, I'm taking five. Thank you, sir. Oh, Growth Chamber Guardian doesn't work with Riot too well, does he? Alright, so let's Beast... Beast Master, Beast Whisperer. Uh, we'll do Haste here. And we'll do a counter. Double Riot. And then we'll attack for both. Yeah, so his Llanowar Elf's gonna get munched or he's gonna risk taking all this damage. Ooh, okay, so what does that tell us? He is prepared to take a lot of damage. That's what that tells us. Ooze. And then he transforms at the beginning of your end step. He transforms it. Okay. So let's... I don't have any wizards. <laughs> I'm going to have to use... The Wizard's Lightning on the Ooze. So it goes bye-bye. That one stays. Now here's the question. Do I go with Growth Chamber Guardian with Haste, otherwise I can't adapt him, and then draw a card? I'm going to go with Legion War Boss with a counter. Non-token creatures don't get the haste. Hmm. Can he just take all this and then, and then smack me for lethal? Yeah, that's only 10. I hope I didn't just lose. He's got nine damage between... Okay, so that's a bit of a mistake. We're going to go with the 3-3 three, three first. He could have taken all that and then come back at me on the crackback, but I'm glad he didn't. He can drop N-Ray's runners now with Illamok. That's fabulous. Yeah. That's game. That's game. Yep. So, yeah, okay. No blockers. I don't want to mess with it. That's fine. Alright, and I think it's only two losses, so let's see what we end up getting for the Valentine's Day event here. It's been real, it's been fun. Let's claim our prize, and then we'll be done. It is a com it's, it is duress. It's always duress. Um, this is what I got earlier. I think this is just an alternate art duress and an alternate art. Alternate Art Galta, that's all you end up getting. Um, so you don't actually get a different prize other than these cards, which, you know, isn't that big of a deal to me. So um, I don't know that I would do this event over and over again. This looks like a, a one and done type of event for me for the uh, just special to Valentine's Day. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your playtime.